Thank you to Square Enix for providing me a free copy for early access to this game. I really do appreciate it. Welcome back and welcome to Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. This is a game I'm going to be covering depending on how many views and how much people want it. So if you enjoy this game, if you played the demo, if you're looking forward to it, if you want guides and help and tips and all that, let me know down below in the comment section. Hit the like button as well to show me that you do want more videos on this and I'll do some more. Today we're going to talk about specifically armors and things that will drop for you because this game has a lot of drops and you have to do a lot of management of your character um you know for a very quick sake when you're in your menu here you can press your back button and it will optimize what to put on your character now i don't exactly know what it optimizes i'm pretty sure it's probably just you know to get you the most stats however for me i found that it's not always the most optimal thing that they do equip so let's go into the weapons now i have completed one mission so far and this is everything that i have got that has dropped other than this rebellion sword because it's part of the early access pre-order package i believe um but Apart from one other greatsword, I get all these greatswords to drop. Now, there are other weapons too that have dropped, um, mainly for my mage um, and for, you know, the duelists. And, you know, there's just a lot of things dropping and the lancer. There's, everything is dropping. It's crazy. Um, and these also equip to your teammates as well. Um, so once you press the optimize equipment, all of your characters... Um, get optimized gear i don't know what they optimize to like i said but it's there it exists um so for my main character and that's what i'm really going to look at in this video i have all those weapons that dropped i also had all of these helmets that dropped bar one um all of these cloaks except for one of them drop because obviously you start with clothes um so you can see there's a hell of a lot of drops as you're going through a mission that's why the optimize is really good for just a fast change in items so that you know you can just keep going and you don't have to keep sitting and looking at everything however i would suggest that between missions you go through and you figure out particularly what you want on your character now i don't know whether you can dismantle these or um you know sell them or something but it does have like 136 items out of 4500 items in my inventory so it does look like you can carry quite a lot okay so let's talk about job affinity your jobs are there's a lot of them. There's going to be a lot of them. But you start off with about three or four of them. And you'll unlock a couple during the first mission. So I'm currently just playing Swordsman. It's what you get from the get-go. That's your character. There's Pugilist, which is all punching and stuff. There's Mages, which are magic, obviously. Duelist, which is choppy, choppy little sword swords. Lancer, which is some distance throwing and little pokey pokes. And Sword Fighter, which is sword and shield, which I think you unlock a little bit later than i have it um but you also have job affinity so because i've been playing swordsman i'm level 17 out of 30 uh, my job affinity is tied to the things that i accrue through my skill tree and the items that i am wearing so as you can see my job affinity is 62 percent which gives me access to three of the bonuses so swordsman wisdom one which gives me plus two stamina um swordsman wisdom two um, which is 2 stamina and 25 HP and a defense bonus of 5.9% during attacks. So those are the things that I'm getting thanks to my skill tree and the clothes that I'm wearing. So my Strider Gorn has given me extra 7% towards my job affinity. So instead of having optimal items, I could have my job infinity pushed right up through the roof. So I went and equipped all of these items here that I had that weren't my optimized gear but have massive boost to my um, job affinity. So I have now 79% when it comes to my swordsman job affinity. Now that leaves me 1% off my swordsman wisdom free, which is plus HP 50, strength plus two, stamina plus four, which is an incredible boost. I just need one more percent on a item of some kind. Now, if I wanted to, I could achieve that by taking off the shadow boots off one of my other characters and pulling it onto this character. So you can see you can either build into what they think is the optimal, um, <laughs> the optimal thing to equip or just you know use whatever you want you know it's it's pretty pretty decent so let's go and have a look at job trees the other part of the class just very quickly so as you can see through leveling up i've got 
kind of what are called job points. So it's basically every time you level up, you get some job points and you level up quite rapidly in this game. So I can increase my job affinity plus 10 percent in varying different areas of the build so that means you know that i'm going to constantly get in my buffs up so now i've got 25 extra percent so if i come back out into my class now i have 104 percent with my job affinity which gives me the perk that i was looking for and puts me much closer to my extra defense bonus too so building your class and you know messing around with it is going to be very very important if you're like fighting a big boss and you want some extra defense you're gonna to have to change all of your armors to match up with the affinity bonuses rather than what they think is the optimized thing for you um so it's a very interesting way to kind of put classes together and stuff same can be said for you know like mages and stuff too so you know i could go in and find a caster code so i could go and find you know anything that is a mage which isn't on there <laughs> i could do caster trousers i could throw on you know caster shoes and then that gives me a 66 percent boost to my mage job affinity um which gives me intellect plus two intellect and spirit plus two and increases ability break damage dealt by 5.9%. So my magic is also increased. Um, so you can see there's a lot of build potential here. There's a lot of different things to think about when you're going into fights um, before bosses. Or if you're dying a lot to certain bosses, you can you can turn around and, and add new things and do new things with your class. And change your job if you need to as well on top of that. There's a lot here and it's very fun very interesting i can't wait to level up a whole bunch and start getting some real builds and stuff together to show off to you guys but i just wanted to very quickly show off the kind of armors that drops the amounts of armors that drops what to do with them you know job affinity a little bit of the skill tree i might go more into depth with the skill trees in another video so if this helps you and you're excited and this is interesting hit the like button comment subscribe all that kind of good stuff thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been Awesome.